So for fo folks here in South Florida, you gotta remember that we're only showing where the center of the storm is. Irma is a, a large storm. It's gonna have rainfall, wind, storm surge hazards that are gonna extend far from the center. So everybody in South Florida is gonna to want to take the time in the next few days to prepare. There is the threat is increasing for some direct impacts of, of uh, from Irma here in, in the Florida Peninsula. And uh, we could see a major hurricane in our vicinity as we get into the weekend. Actually turn northward, but there's a lot of disagreement. Once it gets in here between Cuba and Florida, some of the model guidance shows a sharp to, uh, turn to the north that might take the center east of the Florida Peninsula, or it could go over the peninsula or a little to the left. Well, this storm is coming. It is getting stronger and it's damn near guaranteed to hit here. It's either gonna hit the west, the middle, or the east side of South Florida. It's almost gonna come straight. It's not a guarantee, but it's, <laughs> it looks like it's going to. But I have to leave work to go to work a little bit early right now because Bradley wanted to go get some more food and he said there's lineups at the gas stations and at all the grocery stores, so I should probably leave to get gas so I have a full tank if and when that happens. All right, so there certainly is a number of people here to get fuel. There was a lineup when I got here, but now all the, all the pumps have someone in it. Two of them are empty already. So apparently when we went to sleep last night, the storm was, you know, already a category four, but it's now become the strongest that it can be labeled a category four. And it's f flipping huge, so it's real. It's a real thing, and it's actually happening. It's pretty crazy. I really hope that it doesn't hit here. There's still a chance that it might not, but there's a very good chance that that's exactly what's going to happen. I don't know if these have anything to do with it, but there's lots of gnarly clouds over the ocean. What? I should get more. I'm gonna get more. Is that Bradley? No way. It's the first one right when you pull in. Okay. My sweet, sweet Bradley. <laughs> there we go, now I'm rocking. Okay, so I'm at work and it turns out that Irma just got raised up to a category five now. And they still don't know if it's gonna hit us, but I'm tripping out. The storm's way bigger than the one that hit Texas last week. Scary. Well, as you saw earlier, I filled up my truck on my way to work. Now I'm done work and it's a lot cloudier and there's some lightning over there, which is east. Isn't the way the storm is, so I doubt it's relevant, but it's still trippy. Look at these gas stations. I just passed one that had a huge lineup. There's another one with a lineup. One thing I'm definitely, <laughs> definitely noticing right now too is I'm on my way to the gym, like my same way I always go, and there is significantly less traffic on the interstate. <laughs> I don't know if that means people are fleeing <laughs> or what, but there's a lot less cars. Like I got here in half the time. Look at this crap behind me. As far as you can see, and now on the other side of this light that's green, there's more people coming. There's never this much traffic going that way here. And like, I think it's cause back there there was a gas station and people were blocking the street trying to get in. Now all these cars are backed up forever. <laughs> Just trying to get out to, to like the interstate or go home after work or whatever. But there was like three vehicles that were taking up all the lanes trying to pull in. And it's backed up like, it's been backed up since I got off the interstate and that was like four blocks ago. Jesus, it's still backed up. Like I stopped my camera, shut it off, put it away, and I got to the gym and I pulled it out again just to show you it's still backed up. There's the gym there. But this is stupid. Now I U-turn to go to the gym. Gym's right there. And these people are all waiting in line for gas at the gas station next door. Maybe I can slither on in here. See, now I'm in the parking lot. I bet you any money, all these people on the other side of that bush are all still stuck there and waiting. See, they're all trying to get into that fuel station. See? <laughs> they're backed up around the corner right to the gas station. That's nuts. It's getting real, people! Okay, well, I'm here at the gym now. Now, this vlog's more hurricane-themed anyway, so I'm not gonna show you working out, but I'll be done here working out in just a few minutes. All right, well, that was the shortest workout in history because I needed to come get some stuff. I need a lens cover for this thing because I'm scared I'm gonna scratch it. So I'm back. 
at Best Buy. Look at this, right when you walk into Best Buy, they've got like hurricane supplies. Alright, thank you. We got phone cases and batteries and everything. Alright, it's gonna be one of these things here. Alright, well that's the success on the lens cover, thank god, because I don't like to have the lens hood on or the cap because it takes too much time, literally multiple times a day to take that cap on and off when I'm vlogging. So, it's good to get that covered. Now back home to go see Bradley. I'm tripping. I'm really am freaking out about the storm. Like it's becoming a reality for me now. And Bradley's not even worried about it at all. And I'm just, uh, I'm stressed. It's a Cat 5, it's huge. Category 5 is huge. Ripped buildings apart, that's insane. All right, I just got home. Watching some Lost with Bradley. And discussing our plans for this ridiculous storm that's coming. He's not worried about it, like I said, but I'm tripping my ass off. So, check out tomorrow for another video, another update video, I guess, and uh, wish us luck, I guess. <laughs> Anyways, I just want to say thank y'all for watching. Throw me a thumbs up if you like this video. Tweet me some suggestions at Dalen Gerard. Subscribe for a good time, and I'll see y'all tomorrow, man. Peace in the Florida Peninsula and uh, we could see a major hurricane in our vicinity as we get into the weekend. Um, in terms of the timing, we could see tropical storm force winds. The most likely time that they would arrive here in South Florida would be Saturday morning. So that's the time everybody would want to have their preparations done by. Michael, is there anything out there that could deflect the system at the last 